Hey everyone! Today we'll open MSI Katana 17HX B14W for display tests, benchmarks, thermals and more. See the full review on laptopmedia.com. Link below, let's begin. We unscrew 13 screws from the bottom panel. These two spots have no screws. We are using a JIS number one screwdriver. It fits these heads better than a Phillips. The screws are not the same length, keep their positions. Here are the two short screws. We release the bottom clips with a thin plastic tool. Be careful not to slide the tool inside and hit a component. Done, the bottom cover is off. Before work, we unplug the battery, then remove it. This is the SSD slot. This is the Wi-Fi module. The cooling uses two fans. Here is RAM memory. The CPU and the discrete GPU sit below the heat sinks. We disconnect the battery cable. Through this channel, the connector is held by the pressure plate. Don't forget to visit and see our top 100 laptops with the best battery life ranking page. We undo five screws for the battery. It's a four cell pack printed at 75 watt hours.
we take out the SSD. This laptop has one M.2 slot for NVMe on PCI Express 4. The thermal pads are thick and elastic, so the drive comes out with some resistance. We reinstall the SSD in its slot. Now we remove the memory. This metalized shielding sticker over the memory helps with EMI control and a bit of heat spreading. There are two SODIMM slots for DDR5. 5600 official support is up to 96 gigabytes, and the actual speed depends on the module combination and the CPU. Here is the Wi-Fi Plus Bluetooth card, Wi-Fi 6E with Bluetooth 5.3, and the antenna plugs have extra retention. And here's a quick look at the touchpad. That's the inside of MSI Katana 17HX B14W. See thermals, display tests, and battery life at laptopmedia.com. Thanks. Subscribe.